Greetings. I've been dying to make this video. I'm still alive. That's good. Hey, listen. So we need to figure out a way to test this variable. Ve sorry, vehicle speed sensor. I keep on saying variable. Uh, outside of the car. This is for a Honda Civic, and uh, it's a man automatic transition. The reason why I know this is because uh, this is a shorter. The manual transmission has a longer. Um, post right here to support it to the vehicle. So we have a couple things we're going to need, right? We need a vehicle speed sensor. We need the pigtail that attaches to it. it just, we're going to use it for reference, or you could use it for the connection itself, right? We're going to need power source, battery, oops, because we're going to replicate, uh, you know, what this would need in the car, which is 12 volts. And, uh, we need uh, three of these wonderful connectors. This one is special. If you take a closer look, you can see what that is. I took a, a connector and cut it in half because I can't get a, I don't have a small enough. Um, now you can, if you can get a smaller version of this alligator clip that can fit into that little spot in the middle, then you're golden. Right. That's the special one. And then we have another alligator clip. We're going to need a multimeter. Okay. All right. Let's do what we are came, what you came here to see. All right. So the first thing we want to do is uh, establish which which of these is um, is going to be your positive and negative, right? So. I didn't find any good wiring diagrams online on this, so I just read a lot and I figured out from people's comments in different forms. This is going to be ground, black. Since we live in America, most likely uh, the black wire is going to be ground. And um, this middle is going to be your uh, positive. And this blue and white is going to be your, uh, your output from here. So this is what the uh, com uh, electronic control module is going to uh, read and try to figure out what exactly, how exact, how fast you're going, and how it should adjust to other parts of the vehicle to make your uh, vehicle run best. So now that we have established, this is a three wire. Um, okay, so we need to get this all set up like it's uh, on the vehicle uh, with the power supply heading towards it. So on this side here is going to be the ground. In the middle, the yellow and black is going to be the uh, positive. Right? And, uh, take our 9-volt battery. Okay, we're going to do... Do we want, uh, yeah, we can do it all. Okay, so we're gonna go negative. Yeah, it's a negative on that side, the big, the big post. And we're gonna place that. Let's just double check. Yep. Yeah. On the black wire here, like that. Okay. Let's get this out of the way. That we get our positive. Oh, positive's not gonna work. So. This is why we did this, because uh, that center pin is really hard to get at. Alright, so we're gonna use this thing. See what that is? It's just a connector chopped in half. Okay. Just gonna try that. Slide that down onto there. All right. 
this. It's going to go the positive. Make sure these don't touch. going to be our output, right? So we need to measure the resistance coming out of this, right? That's what we're going to do. So connect it. Now since this is a, now these three wire uh, sensors, they come in two formats, right? This is, uh, this type is called sourcing and there's a sinking. The sourcing takes the output and dumps it onto a load, so it could be like something like your, um, you know, a light bulb or, you know, um, let's say like a, an indicator to give you some kind of like reference point to like how much voltage is coming out, right? This is called a like source install. And the sync install, right, will dump right back into the system on the center wire, the positive wire. So it just contributes more electricity back into the circuit itself. That's called a sinking system, right? And now uh, this, uh, this really refers to the direction of the, uh, of, com of com it's called conventional uh, current flow, which is just going to be positive to negative. Um, so th th that's what the uh, uh, sourcing uh, does, right? Now, the continuity is what we're going to check. So to do that, right, we need to take the output here on that and attach it to this positive, I'm sorry, uh, this part of the multimeter, right? And that is gonna give us a reading because the faster we turn that, resistance will drop down, right? And we'll see how that works. Let me turn this on, okay. Okay, there we go. Let's make sure. Uh, okay, so this ground now needs to be grounded out, just like you would do with an automobile. It needs to ground out. So it will ground out right. Oops, sorry. Right here. Let's see if we can just throw that into there, onto this negative side of the terminal, right? Okay, so watch the multimeter. Just see if I can give you a fighting chance to see what's going on here. Okay, good. So right now, right, we have, uh, so we have some continuity happening. Right? Watch what happens when I turn. So this is how you can test to see if the vehicle speed sensor is actually functional. You know, when you have a vehicle speed sensor that's not functional, that will just be infinite. So it'd be, a, you know, an open circuit the whole time. So that's what this does. I hope this helps you figure out how to diagnose your uh, vehicle speed sensor. Issues. This is a bigger part of my uh, issue I'm trying to resolve with the 1997 Honda Civic. So uh, I'll take you on the journey in another video. Okay. All right. So if you go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, thumbs up, let me know what you thought about this little setup. And I hope that it helps you out because uh, I know sometimes you'll buy uh, vehicle speed sensors and you don't know. Uh, you know, use if they're actually good or not, or if your other parts of your car that needs to be diagnosed uh, to make sure that that part is also functional. All right, so go ahead, thumbs, like up, so, <laughs> like up, that's nice, I made that up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, comment below, whatever you like to do, and uh, keep it civilized, and I look forward to uh, our next video. All right, have a good day.
get a negative, interesting reading. Sometimes, fascinating. Turn to the left, it's always positive. Turn to your right. I get a negative sometimes. Maybe uh, polarity gets reversed. Change direction. Yeah, probably. Cool.